Hello everybody and welcome to English Drumming Creeper. Today I'm playing Mountain Blade Warband. As you might see, I am already pretty far through this game, so yeah. No, I'm pretty big, but I just want to show you the uh, I haven't cheated or anything. I have a save game where I basically cheated everything, but it wasn't really fun. So, basically, uh, my kingdom right now is going pretty well. So what I'm going to do is, this is my normal save game. I think, I'm think i thinking of starting a uh, special save game for just for a series on my channel, but we'll see about that later. Um, shut up. Um... Okay, so I basically just got some money because I'm basically like the strongest dude in the entire land. Ooh, no, never mind. Yeah, okay, so basically I'm heading towards this forest bandit camp. There's always a forest bandit camp in this place. Oh, hello, Lord Hugu. And that is. And the reason is so I can just. Ooh. Yeah, okay, welcome back, my friend. Okay, um, so basically, if you do not know this game, uh, I'm not really gonna explain it now. You might as well just buy it because I have wasted my entire life on it. I saw some bandits walking. Okay, so basically I'm searching for a big party of bandits. Which is worthy of taking... <laughs> Ooh, 22 deserters. That's nice. That's not really a lot, but it's alright. Hmm, I think... Oh, God. Damn it. No... They just said us there they are. Come on, chase them. Chase them. Okay. So this is basically what you sometimes do. Yeah, okay, those deserters are faster than me. So okay. Never mind that. So basically what I'm now gonna do is I'm gonna level up my army a bit and then show you a battle with the strongest dude in the entire land. Um this is gonna take me all day and I Ooh, that's nice. I'm not army of 50 f okay so basically let's let's first show this battle this is an army of 55 deserters so i'm pretty strong against them so it's gonna be easy so let's just charge them uh, for anyone who doesn't know um, this is the gameplay and it's actually actually really cool so i've got a battle uh, as you see in the bottom left i've got a battle advantage of four which basically means that I'm pretty strong. Um, yeah, you can see they aren't really that good. Um, these are deserters, so they were in the main army of the kingdom of the Rodox. There are a few different kingdoms, but you will only see the Rodox and the Swedians because I have wiped the rest out. And basically, what you'll see here. Basically, this is really end game stuff you see here. I have played this game a shit ton because I really like it. Because someone suggested it to me, and now I'm stuck. So, basically, um, yeah, we basically, as you can see, my arm is pretty strong, um, that is because, uh, well, I've leveled everything up to be sweaty and nice, or level it, as you can see, sweaty and nice everywhere, and that is basically how a battle goes, um, sometimes you have a few bigger battles, it really depends on what kind of armor you have and everything, but this isn't the biggest battle, it's alright. So basically, what I'm currently doing is I'm waiting a few days until I can declare war on um, Swedia because I like I don't like Swedia, which is why uh, I declare war on them. Though they're not s only smelling, so oh, I have more than enough food. Never mind. Um, yeah, you really need to uh, learn how to manage your food and everything. So basically, this was quite an easy battle. I'm going to Uxkal or something. Uxkal on. Uh, to, um, yeah, this is basically a city of mine. Uh, I can uh, do a couple of things here. You, know, you can go to the castle, take a walk around the streets, visit the tavern, as the arena, go to the marketplace. It's really easy. But basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the marketplace, a few different, and this is where you buy food. So I'm basically just going to buy some food because I'm kind of low on food. I'm not that low. On, like, this is the amount of food I normally have with me. But anyway, um, now what I'm gonna now I have enough food. I'm gonna d go to here because in this is where the hardest enemies are, I think, and that is really good to level up my army because basically, yeah. Um, so anything you see here, like 121 units and everything, that's pretty pretty end game. So don't expect it to be 
this easy. It's going to be ten times harder when you play. I mean, because well, first of all, I'm I had a quite an easy start because I'm a noble. And for anyone who doesn't know this game, it's I'm just going to assume you do. Um, what are those? Those are less than those, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm basically right now. I'm searching for the most bandits I can find, but they're pretty far. Ah, come on. There we go. Surrender or die. So basically, the game isn't the nicest graphics wise, but the gameplay is amazing. It's an RPG for anyone who doesn't like RPGs. Be warned, I'm an RPG fan. So basically, I have a battle advantage of 5. Look how big these vessels are. And I don't think like you need a really because the graphics aren't the best. You don't really need a beef computer to run this, at least as far as I know. Because I have a pretty beefy, beefy computer, but you don't need one as as good as mine, which actually isn't that good. It's alright. So yeah, I mean that of course there are the glitches sometimes like. Sometimes the game doesn't really handle going up a hill very well. Like, I mean, like, okay, um, yeah, because basically I'm pushing a button with maybe a different angle uh, on the uh, view point. So, oh, never mind. I actually press tab. Uh, I'll show that you that another time when I am not on some planes. Okay, so basically, 72 knights. That's quite a lot. I have got a spare army of knights at home in my hometown, which is. Raven. Yeah. What is the furthest one can go? Oh, pretty far. Right? Oh, maybe. Bit further. Bit further. Bit further. No, this is the furthest you can go away. This is basically the uh, bottom of, of the map, and if you look here, this is the top. <coughs> you can't climb up this mountain. Here and here and here. This is basically the edge of the map. Uh, I don't know. I think you can't. I would say you couldn't climb up this. Yeah. I think that's it. Like here. This is closed off. And then basically you have this, which which is like this, an invisible wall. Then you go over here. You get this. So and then you have that. Basically, the map is really bloody huge. And it's a fun game. Um, I'm just going to go here. I don't know where I am. Jesus Christ, I'm far away. Ooh. And no, that's only looters. I want more than looters. That is 54 bandits. That's enough. I, I don't like when... It, sometimes you lose them and you, and you gain sight of them again. And then you're not after them anymore. So you need to pause and you need to click them again. That's one of the bugs in this game. So basically, I just have this army here, and I just charge right at them. I, those guys. You can also play the first person. I'm gonna do. Okay. Um. This might make you a bit sick, sick because it, it doesn't really work. So I'm sorry for anyone who doesn't like first person. And also, the oh god, I'm getting sick already. Jeez, this isn't nice, is it? And I don't think this is the way this, this game is supposed to play be played. Of course it's this. Just, I mean, you can still get pretty sick of it because you have to select where you are killing people by moving the camera, which is a bit weird. But it's alright. It's not the worst system. Like, I like her. Uh, I like these people. Ooh, look at that sunset. Oh, wow, well, that's a bit... Yeah, that's a bug. Yeah, that, that, so those sort of things you need to basically excuse it. Yeah. And also, they are making you want to, which is going to be even more fun. Just look at this amount of people on the map. Hello, knight. Just jumping over someone, why not? Yeah. yeah that's basically insane. Just look at this. And they're making a new one. Uh, Mind to play Bannerlord, I think it is called. And it's amazing. Yeah. So right now I'm just leveling up my army and everything. And then oh God, when those twenty three days are gone. Twenty four days I think it is. Because my I'm currently I had war quite 
quite a short time ago with um with the country of the con with uh, Swedia. That's the people who own this. Uh, I don't want want to declare war on them to basically get out of my go. Come on, come on. There we go. To basically uh, show you uh, what this game is like and to basically get more land from them. Uh, there are different kinds of battles. I'll you'll see soon enough. So basically. What I'm gonna currently gonna do is I'm gonna level up this army until it and wait 24 days until time has passed and when time has passed I am going to um, play uh, some awesome things so uh, it's gonna take a few hours I, I don't really know um, well maybe two hours or something so uh, I'll see you in two hours maybe I'll see you tomorrow I don't know at least for you it's in a three, in, a, in three? No, not in three seconds. Well, maybe in three seconds. I don't know. For you guys, it's not really that far away. Um, so this is, by the way. Oh, a Swedish knight got killed. No. <laughs> so basically, um, this is going to be quite a long episode, as you can probably see, because I'm going to have a massive battle at the end of this. So, yeah. Um, wish me luck, and um, it's going to to be awesome. Oh god, I really, really like this game. Well, anyway, uh, wish me luck. Thank you so much. Um, let's hope I survive the next battle. Okay, well, anyway, thank you for all the luck you gave me. Uh, it wished me words. Basically, I waited just 24 days. Didn't take that long. And I'm here in my capital, basically. Um... And what I'm going to do is I'm going to manage the garrison. I'm going to upgrade everyone everyone as far as I can. I'm going to give them everyone I can give. And there we go. Now I have 212 sweaty knights in there. I'm going to take as many of them as I can. 118. And now my army cannot be bigger. Just look at this. He, he kind of looks the same. Like, his armor is exactly the same as mine. And then you have... Yeah. Okay, so basically these are companions. I'll explain maybe later what they do. But anyway. What I'm not going to do is I'm going to go to the castle. And this is the important bit. I'm going to go to my... My, uh... Person. Uh, my, um... My... Uh, um, wait a second. Um... Never mind. Uh, I, don't know, I can't really think of it. I want to come into dispatch an emissary to King Harlow's of th that I declare war upon him. It is. I want to make war. So basically, everyone is now quite angry, angry at me, which shouldn't really matter. Like, the lowest is 35. Of basically, you really. First, what I did was I. I basically. Um, Got all of the uh, as many um, uh, lords and things as I could, and then uh, I uh, basically had my kingdom. But they all started getting angry at me because I couldn't manage them. Because, well, I didn't really pay attention to any of them, they weren't really individuals or anything. So now I have a few who are quite strong. First, I had like a lot who were uh, who owned a lot of, but they were all in the mo like minus 30. They so that they didn't really like me. So yeah. Anyway, tab, leave. New Swedia has declared war against the kingdom Swedia. Okay. So basically, what that means is, I'm going to go to no, no camp um, party. Here we go. Now, this is the important bit. My party morale is quite low. I need to maybe what I need to do is. Buy some food real quick. Go to the marketplace, goods merchant. Oh, I can't. Never mind. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do is, I'm going to hope the morale is good enough. Go and go to Yarland, because that is where King Harlaus is. I'm going to ride my horse there. With contra and space, you speed up the time, by the way, on the map. And then I'm going to hope he attacks me. Which he should, I think. If basically, if I stand here long enough, he will realize that I... Then he will charge at me and come on hurry up um come on attack me G 
Jesus Christ, he doesn't want to attack me, eh? Because that is a problem. Normally, he... Because his army is really strong. Like, if you... He's got 491 men in his army. So, I basically need to wait until he leaves. Or attacks me. Come on. Attack me. No, not yet. No. Uh, I think it is. Yes, he has attacked me, I think. Yeah. At least a lot of people have attacked me, so I'm. it's a big fight. And I think he's in them somewhere. Wait a second, let me just... There we go. Um. So, I, I could do a couple of things. I could surrender, which I'm not going to do. Pull back, leaving some soldiers behind to cover your retreat. I'm not going to do that, because that really lowers the morale, and I want to show you the fight, because I'm... Uh, yeah. Uh, order your troops to attack without you. That... Uh, it's not smart to do because, well, it saves time, but it doesn't save troops. And charge the enemy is which one is the one I'm going to do. So basically, 122 versus 626. I have won battles of where I'm outnumbered from 10 to 1. So basically, it's uh, 1,000 enemies of theirs, 100 of mine. There actually, there won't actually be 626 plus 122 is... 700 and well, a lot of people, uh, 740, there won't be 748 people on the battlefield at once, that, the game has figured that, 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 one. Re, the, no, no PC really likes that, so, but, oh no, it's this kind of fight, those are the worst, because, look at this, uh, that's a problem, otherwise it would be awesome, but never mind, so basically, I'm not really with a lot of people, and this is where the game starts getting a little buggy, yeah, first of all, the horse is kind of embedded in the ground, and yeah, y yeah, yeah. Okay, let's fight. Come on, I hope King Harlow is in here. Yeah, here he is. He is. That that one with the armor that really looks like mine. That one, I'm, I'm hitting now. I'm and I'm not the one next to me. The one there, 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 that one, that one, there. That is King Harlow's here. Here, that's that's him. Come on, kill him. So he's got a strong army, and yeah, he's being beaten up by us. Come on, die already, Jesus. Horse bike. I don't know. <laughs> Horse bike. Yeah, thanks so much for the words. And he's down. King Harlow's knocked unconscious by Kieran. Oh yeah. So yeah, now we've just got to take out the rest of them, which is gonna be easy. Um, basically. Just go over here and basically just kill anyone I can. Anyone! Get off my face, will you? So, it's kind of easy. It's just... There we go, and... Uh, there we go. Come on. And kill! Okay. So, I am using a one... Oh, no, I'm using a two-handed sword. That's why everything's... That's better. That's why everything's going wrong. I was... Okay. I think I... No, let's kill him. Ooh, he's got some nice armor. Can Montiwa. He's awesome. I like him. Although he doesn't really like me, does he? No, he doesn't. I don't care. Do you care? Um, now we need to basically... So basically, they, they still, like... I'm still outnumbered, like, a lot. If I look at this... But I am not right now. Not that much. But I have already killed 70 of their men. Uh, excuse the lag again. Um... Like, they were, were outnumbering the... There we go. Now, this, I think, is almost how much I've outnumbered. I don't even know. Um, you know what? Let's see. Are there any enemies? Yes, there is. This is a um, man at arms, but they're not mine because they, he hasn't got that icon above him. Oh, um, yeah. Come on. So this probably will be a 30 minutes or more video, uh, maybe even, even uh, uh, because I'm going to do multiple fights, uh, maybe it will even be uh, something like 45 minutes to an hour, so yeah. I really like this game, uh, there won't be, so maybe it will be two videos, I'll see. But um, yeah, the videos uh, won't be this long normally, but it's just that, first of all, I really like this game, and second of all, I uh, just wanted to show you the base components of the game, which is ba which de basically takes about an hour, just because of the things there are, like, not, I'm not going to teach you things like 
guess you can't get married and everything, but that's just too much time. I mean, I am already married, so I can't cannot show you guys how it works. And there's not really an, that much of an advantage in, in the... Come on, no, let's not shoot our own guy. Now we can shoot. Come on. Don't walk right in front of him. Jesus Christ. Um, no. Um, there he is. Let's kill that dude. Sure. Could you get out of my way? Thank you. Um, yeah. Oh, Borch has leveled up to 10. Nice. And kill. Come on, kill. Kill. There we go. And there we go. Go. No, go. No. There we go. And there we go. Yeah. Okay, so that is um, a... That's Borcha, yes, because he has some special armor and everything. Yeah, that's Borcha. He is just leveled up to level 10 already. Oh god, they're becoming old, aren't they? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. So basically, you can even get the unnumbered. Uh, I mean, first... The first time I would have played this game, I would have just basically pulled back and just... Use the man too. Oh wow! One already. No, oh, no, 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 no. To uh, cover my retreat, and I have lost zero man. That's because I basically, yeah, I got as many of the. N I got like basically an all night army just because they're the strongest, and I want them. So yeah, now we are only outnumbered one to four. So that's even a bit better. Our battle advantage is now minus two, and our renown value, we know, real bad number, um, is now 20. So if I win this battle, I gain 20 renown. If I lose, I, I don't know. If, if I lose, do I lose 20? I don't know. But anyway, I'm gonna win it, so I'm gonna gain 20 of that renown, renown, renown. Words. I don't know. But yeah, by the way, you can actually line people up in a like all sort of proper way. Like, okay, look at the the amount of people. Uh, 55. Yeah, okay, so it's all right, but it's still a battle advantage of minus two. Kill this knight of the. Yeah, it's still a battle advantage of minus two, so. I don't know exactly what the best advantage means or how it is uh, calculated, but it does something. So yeah, that's basically why I play this game, because it does something. <laughs> oh god, that just sounds weird. <laughs> yeah, so you have different kind of units. Basically, all of these knights and everything have come out of a unit I just killed. Uh, Swadian Recruit, which is... Uh, Kind of a it's really weak unit. It's basically just a farmer with basically just a, a pike or you know. And then they turn into Swadian militia who have uh, a crossbow and a shield and some sort of hammer sometimes. And well, they don't always have a shield. Then they turn into a Swadian footman, which is where they get are getting good. That is a sweaty foot man, that dude uh, there, there, that dude here, who I just killed. That's a sweaty foot man. He, they have basically, I think they have got a sword. And, yeah. Yeah, they have got a sword and a shield. And some proper armor. Then they turn into men at arms, which I don't have, so I can't show you. And then they turn into the knights, which are these. Yeah. And Wolf has advanced to level 13, which is also really nice. Tap key to leave. And uh, we killed 153, and we lost 0. So now it's only 2 to 1. So, there are different stages in battles. First of all, you have this... Jesus Christ, we're slow. First of all, you have the stage where... If you're not really in a big battle, like maybe 100 versus 50 or... About 200 people, if if you use the mod, which basically uses get, gets everyone in the field at once, you got you have 200 people. Basically, that means uh, you will have it in one fight. But like this, it's just too many, and it will uh, uh, it's just too many to all, to do all at once. So to to even all have in one battle, 
So after a sudden amount of time, it's all, it's all going to change again. Oh god, there they are. Yeah, let's see. Do that. Yeah, that's a man at arms. That one there. That. That. This dude here. This dude. That's a man at arms. And then you also have another side which you shouldn't use because just basically just look at how much my army's decimated them. I'm outnumbered, you know. I'm outnumbered. God damn it. Okay, yeah. It's pretty. Yeah, I'm I'm not as outnumbered as I should be, but because I have uh, I don't have mods or anything, but it's just I have upgraded my so my starting advantage is um, a bit higher every time. So that means I have more units in comparison to theirs. Uh, in comparison to the amount of units I I have actually I actually have. So that basically means that when I should be outnumbered four to one, I am outnumbered maybe a few less. Not, not still about 41, but a bit less. But like 100 against 400, it wouldn't be. If 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 it would be that, it wouldn't be exactly like 100 against 400. So maybe 10 against 40 or whatever amount of units I have, it would maybe be 11 or 12 against 38, 37, something like that. Just so I have a bit more of a chance, because one dude can rack. Just that one dude can make the difference. Yeah. So basically, this is kind of a slow battle. You can tell everyone to dismount, by the way. And you can dismount as well. It's just that, yeah, really like a lot of different playstyles. You have this shooty shooty playstyle with an arrow, an arrow to the knee. Like uh, this, and uh, this, and come on, this. Come on, this. Come on, this. Oh, no, don't hit my own dudes. Got a headshot. I'm just trying to kill that horse there. And he's done. So basically, you can use arrows, or you can even do this and arrow. You can do everything in this game. This game, but you can't exactly do everything. Okay, you can't drive around in the car, okay? You know what I mean with everything. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, this video is already half an hour long, and there's going to be another battle on it, so... Yeah, it's going to be quite long, because I'm also going to besiege a castle for you guys. Oh god, this is kind of a steep hill. <laughs> Just look at that. Oh god, bogey nerds. I know they want their character... To, yeah, to sit up a bit... A bit to sit up right, like, maybe... Well, not like this, but like this. I think they want that, but they're just... I mean, you you wouldn't even get, let your horse go down that hill. You'd go round the hill. Ooh. Ooh. Oi. Could you please not fire your things at me? Oh, yeah, you can also have, a, like, a, a nice line position. So I basically taught everyone, everyone now to go over here. You can now see that all of my units are now retreating to over here, and if I press backspace, we can see basically the amount of units and all of this. You can see we are forming a nice line. Like this. Then, what we can do is we can wait. Okay, so basically, what they are... Oh, no, don't press escape. They are also forming a line. They are charging. The, I think... Yes, I think they are starting to charge, so let's charge as well. Charge, everyone turns around because there's some, some more than the wrong way around. We go, they have a line, we have a line. Their line is gone, our line is gone, but we don't care because we are winning. That's how bad this game goes. Well, you don't exactly do that line part, I just wanted to show you. I have two infant. oh yeah, that's probably my heroes. <laughs> Companions, things. <laughs> yeah. So I could show you gameplay, or I could just sit here and yawn all the time. That's basically, I don't know. Yeah. Come on, kill it, kill it, kill it! Kill the thing now. Or not, you don't have to. Oh, sorry, for this sound. 
Yeah, that's basically why I need a uh, shock mount spider thingy word. Spider-Man? I don't know. Just because you won't hear that awful noise again. I checked. It's not that much money. It's just too much money to to give it, basically. I mean, my, my microphone is right. I mean, it's about the same as my microphone. No, it's not the same as my microphone cost. It's about half the price of my microphone. Yeah, that's about... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Talking is not my best skill. Ever. Yeah, we haven't lost zero people yet. That's just basically insane. Come on. Oh, let's kill that man at arms. There! Oh, kill that man at arms. Kill man, kill man at arms. I can't talk, so I shouldn't try. Oh, I just went through every run. Sure, why not? <laughs> Come on, and oh, okay. nearly. Could you piss off, please? Thank you. I don't care. Yeah. So basically, what I'm currently doing is awesome and everything. So yeah, we won again. There are only 15 of them left, so let's do this battle, and then I'll see you in a uh, in a few seconds when I'm act when I have gathered all of my lords because you can also have lords that basically fight by your side and everything. And I'm gonna get 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 a uh, city which is over there, so which is somewhere around here. I mean, I'm basically fighting in the city right now because they attack me in the city. When I was standing as good, like I was standing in the city, so yeah, sure. There they are. Oh, how cute! See, oh, I want to give them such a good hug. <laughs> so cute. I don't know. I don't even know. Yeah. Um. Come on. Are we Look, see, they formed the line. They just. Come on. Kill that dude. I've killed a lot of them. Yeah. Come on. Kill! Kill it! Never mind. Yeah. And. That is basically this battle done. Um, yeah, how many BP? One left. Oh, they're chasing him. See, here, chase going on. See, there, going towards him. See, this army chasing him. And he's gone. So, basically, that's the battle. Now, I'll see you in a couple of minutes, seconds, or whatever. And, you're my prisoner now. My prisoner now. Yeah. So basically, they can level up, and basically, what I'm, oh, I, lost, I, I haven't lost two. That's because I have gained renown, renown words, and yeah, okay, never mind. Um, that's something else. That's another concept which you should do something with. Okay, so basically now, oh yeah, I'm gonna do something else. I'm gonna just guys just haven't tried to sneak into the town. I'm, I'm gonna be uh f found out. Let's see, I uh, recognized that doesn't really matter because I'm really freaking strong. And yeah. Okay, so basically now because I'm, I'm I disguised myself, so I'm now quite weak. But still, look at this. Look at this. Come on. There we go. That's the gun. Oh yeah, of course. But the essential bug of a bridge. Jesus Christ. Come on, kill it. There we go. And I won, I think. So yeah. Um I'm gonna go to the marketplace goods merchant just to buy some food so I can basically survive out there for more than one second. Uh, I need that chicken to be up there and then this one there. Uh yeah, basically quick rearranging of the foodsies. So I've got more than enough food to survive. Just to uh, buy these things. Oh I can't buy any more food. So I will sell these. There we go. 
And what I'm now going to do is I'm going to see you in a couple of minutes. Goodbye. Okay, so I'm back. Um, and uh, go away. Go away, I said. I'm uh, here just besieging this town. Um, no one else wants to turn up for some reason. So I'm going to leave my soldiers in an assault. So the way this works is I have besieged it. I, uh, this is basically how it works. I'm going to tell everyone to hold this position because I need to be in front because of this. And now everyone can charge. There we go. And the best thing to do, to do is to always go for the um, biggest city that they that the that the country owns. In this case, it's this city, whatever this might be. Okay, so the Nords aren't really good at defending any castles, are they? No, I know that. As you can see. Here, yeah, I'm basically just attacking them and killing everyone. Die, die. And now, they are fighting over there, and in the meantime... Yeah, okay, so you always, always lose kind, quite a lot of men in these. Because that's just how it is. And you always die maybe one or two times. Well, not always. A lot of the time. A big portion of the time, let's say it like that. But I'm currently killing these so they can't shoot at any of the people going up there anymore. So now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use my sniping skills and snipe that dude there. Or those dudes over there. Ooh, missed. And there we go, get wrecked. him there. Okay, so now I am losing a lot of men because of their archers. Which basically means that I need to go over here and make them lose more men by moidering their archers again. Not that hard to figure out, but it's kind of hard to... Like, first you're really bad at aiming, and then slowly you seem to understand more about aiming. Like, at first you shoot them and you entirely miss, and then for some reason you you shoot and you hit someone. And then it happen happens again and again, and you kind of learn your bow. That's If I were to switch to another bow, that would be mean that I would totally have to relearn everything that has to do with archery and everything and I would suck and that is why you should always keep your bow it's a oh bollocks yeah that happens a lot and it's real freaking annoying I'm not gonna have this city, it's a nice city but I'm not gonna have it because I don't need it Oh, I have no more arrows, which means I should fall off here. Jesus Christ, I'm stupid. Yeah, I really like the physics of these people. Come on, die! Jesus Christ, I really like the physics. Like, you see a lot of people falling off these things, and that's amazing. Like, be just be basically being pushed off. Yeah, we are losing, currently losing a lot of men. Let's see how is the death. Uh, we have killed 100. They have lost. But we have lost about 30. That's a word. Not the best. Yeah. Come on, hurry up. Kill him. Kill him. Yeah, they are not really efficient at killing. And there they come. And there are... The AI is always in the way. That's a problem. I have noticed. Come on. Parkour. Oh, yeah. Parkour. Oh yeah. I am the best at parkour! Sort of. Ish. Okay, so they are now retreating and they are... And we are now... Charging. Come on, charge. The best thing to do is I found to have one... Arrow set thing and have... Two swords, one from your horse, which is a fast quickie sword. Shut up. And 
to have one slowly murder your horse sword like this. I'm gonna retreat a bit just so I can give them some space to moider. And yeah. It's kind of hard to understand, but Jesus Christ, there's a lot of people in this part. Just look at this. So I'm gonna try and retreat a bit, just because I don't really want to die, and I've lost a lot of health. Like, a lot of health. So I am trying to retreat, but it doesn't seem like it's working, so... Let's retreat this way. That's always a thing you often do. Just retreat the wrong way, basically. Okay, so I'm gonna equip some arrows because I found an arrow bag, and now I can basically just shoot the dicks off. Which is awesome. Come on. There we go. And, oh, wait, that's a friendly. Well, never mind him. I killed someone. <laughs> I don't care, he's not mine anyway. <laughs> oh, I'm such a mean bastard, but I like it. Okay, so that and now only seven enemies left, which means we have successfully taken this fortress. Two. Come on. Jesus Christ, just one. There we go. And zero. We have won! We have vic we are victorious! Look at these buddies! Just look at it! This is what you play this game for. Oh, I lost <laughs> all of those. Yeah, that's because they are strong, so they they are strong individuals now. That's so so they instantly um go in here. Okay, so I'm not gonna take it, but I am going to um wait till I take counsel of my subjects. Well I could give it to Lord Beren's be 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 sure. Make him a bit stronger. Stronger. Um let me go let me go to Lord Hugu. Um, I wish to give some troops to you. Oh, I can't give any enemies. That's a sad thing. I must back my leave. There we go. Okay, so now what I'm currently doing is I'm going to go to Craven. And I'm going to give my... I'm going to get... get oh, wait. Um, yeah, we can go now. Um, I want to end the campaign. There we go. And go home. Why is everyone still following me? Oh no, they're not. They're just traveling. But, yeah, okay, it's just everything of my kingdom is in this way. It's pretty normal. So, I'm going to go to the uh, man of the garrison. Give these to him. There we go. Um, How many counts and lords? Only two. Okay, yeah, that's probably because I just declared war. I'm going to give all of these. Now I'm going to take the worst first, and then the best, fill up my army, there we go, and give them, because you had 120, there we go, that's my army done, as if nothing happened to these guys, and if something happened to us, and as if we gained a city. Thanks so much for watching, like, subscribe to other people at Drama Creeper, and I'll see you guys next time. I'm apparently on my own. Oh yeah, and by the way, tell me um if I... Uh, need to play more of this game because I love it so I hope you love it as well. Anyway, like, subscribe, tell the people of the Brim Creeper. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. <sighs> Goodbye. Could you not kill me please? Jesus Christ. I was just about to just calmly go to- oh my god, don't kill me! Get out of my face! And you as well! Jesus Christ. <sighs> that is
this one somewhere. I don't know where they are. Anyway, goodbye. <laughs>